Alright guys, so in the garage, got my clothes on, I don't really care about Craftworks logo back there. So we're about to get started just waiting on everybody to come over. We have got all of the parts stacked up against the wall very neatly. So hopefully this goes well. Got our Sports Illustrated wall over here, 1980s edition. I can tell you now a couple things. I've already noticed it's going to not really be an issue, but something we're going to have to address. The catch can here. I'm pretty sure this is going to have to be moved. Um, I don't know if we're going to have to make another bracket for it or how we're going to do this, but pretty sure we're going to be utilizing this radiator support bracket here where the catch can is currently. Um, and also, um, the piping is actually going to route from the throttle body down here right where the catch can is. So um, that's definitely going to be something that's, I don't know, might kind of stop us for a second to kind of figure out where we're going to mount that. So yeah we will see another thing msd box not a big deal but probably gonna have to move that somewhere but um that's gonna be super easy i mean honestly that can be mounted just about anywhere honestly probably under here so uh, i don't think that's gonna be a huge issue but yeah so just went and picked up some coolant from the dealership letting the car kind of cool down for a little bit which first thing we're going to do is probably disconnect the battery um probably pull off the front bumper honestly whatever the instructions say well this is it guys today is the day i'm hoping we can get a majority of this done today uh, maybe a little bit tomorrow so uh, we'll see but we are going to take our time filming this is actually going to take a lot of time too believe it or not so this video is probably going to be spread out into maybe a three-part video. Not 100% sure yet, but we'll see. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Everyone should be here in about 30 minutes to an hour, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, JJ's here. What's up? Poke Drago. What up, dude? What's up? He's filming me, filming him. Uh, vlogs on vlogs. Check him out on YouTube. Going to put the link right here. I just said to edit this, but it's almost like docking. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Oh, my God. What so... <laughs> So there's the Camaro about to go under some surgery. Already guys, or showed you guys the uh, the parts over there. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We'll grab the instructions and go ahead and start on step one. All right, guys. So first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove, well, in factory applications, your factory air intake. But this is my cold air induction one that I'm no longer gonna be using. Um, not for sale. I've had a few people ask me, but JJ has decided to be the first bidder. Ha <laughs> ha! So and <laughs> JJ always wins. Just gonna pull the lid off. Looks like I said earlier before we started, I've got my MSD ignition box, so probably gonna have to pull that off too. But for now we're just gonna worry about the piping and the filter. And then we'll pull um, we'll pull the MSD box off the uh, filter housing and get all the rest of the stuff. Why is my car rolling? What are you doing in there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> right. As soon as you said that. But, uh, the merch breaks up, so it should be wrong. I like how he's like, why is my car wrong? What is going on? <laughs> hey, and he always blames me. What are you doing? Every time. Nothing. So you got the filter out. I'm just gonna pull this. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, oh, and just pull the mass airflow out. It's got a silly little clip on there. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's that. I'm going to put this to the side, and then I'm going to go ahead and take this box off. So on the cold air inductions kit, there's just one tin right here holding this on. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this out. A little retainer clip's about to fall, but before we pull it, i just got to pull that box off. Right here? Yeah, somebody grab that in a second. Yeah, we need a screw right here. Right there. There you go. All right, so MSD box is off. I'm just going to set that to the side for right now. All right, so um, intake is off. Let me grab this. This is going to be JJ's new intake for his Camaro. Sorry, for Crystal's Camaro. Crystal's Camaro. So, here's how we're looking right now. All that's out. Here's what it's going to look like. 
and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on the next step. Now I'm going to refer to the instruction guide since you guys are going to have this in your kit. Uh, next thing you want to do before you do anything is go ahead and locate this uh, spot weld cutter drill bit um, and we're going to put that on a cordless drill. So it's going to be like that. Uh, the fun part now is going through all these boxes and figuring out which one it's in. <laughs> so oh, we'll be right back. We have got the spot weld drill bit right here we're going to cut into it with. So go ahead and get to it. Bernard's going to take over on the camera and basically just going to pull the negative battery terminal. I'm just going to take my 10 and go ahead and loosen the negative battery terminal. Negative battery terminal is off, so I'm gonna move back to the front of the vehicle. I ain't gonna beat me today. Now this is gonna be a 13 millimeter socket. This is gonna be your positive battery terminal post. So I'm just gonna pull that off. Probably the easiest step of this whole install. <laughs> so I'm just gonna move this out of the well, way. It was popping the hood, so. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to pull this off, alright, there's that, I'm just going to set this back here. The next thing we're going to do guys, what the heck, look at my battery terminal, uh, the, one, or one of the wires going, what does that go to, oh god, Oh boy. that might be something to be addressed, <laughs> it's going from the ground, um, it's not puncture, it's just a little. That's weird. That's, my, uh, That's another thing. You uh, kind of see odd things when you're removing stuff. I would have never noticed that. But so basically, what we're going to do, guys, from what I think, is we're going to drill out these right here. Those little spot welds. Yep. So let me go ahead and move this. My little clip puller. You gotta be careful on a Chevy, guys. Stuff breaks. <laughs> so we're trying Before to be... it breaks even sooner. Very easy pulling this stuff out. Gonna move that to the side. Gonna move this cluster to the side. I'm gonna set all this. Just let it kind of hang down right here. And we will be right back. This drill is weak. Greg's coming. He's bringing a drill. Is that him? No, that's my neighbor. But we're gonna try and drill out these spot welds. Without slipping. That's working great. Ah, uh, it's too dead. Okay. We yeah. just We're going to wait on Greg to bring a drill with a charge battery. Should be enough for that one. Let me go get the next one. You like that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? All right, so we're. I'm gonna for the sake of time pause, and we're just gonna do this to the other ones. Uh, I mean, it's the same concept. Oh my god! Yeah, that worked a little better. Oh my goodness! That's a lot faster than that. All right, go ahead. Y'all, this is me. This is Jeremy doing this. So just me. just heads up, guys. Just, just so you guys know, get it on him. Sorry. Thank you for that. <laughs> he, the man. He ended up not using the bit that came with the kit. He went into and used a step bit, a normal yeah. step bit, because it was a lot faster and a lot easier to do it. So yeah. just FYI. So the the bit they give you, it's not bad. It just takes a little longer. Not that we're rushing, but I'm drilling he's, in my car, so I just want to get it over with. He's got. <laughs> he's got he got brought the big stuff. boys out. He's got better stuff. Why not use it? So yeah. So. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're going to vacuum this up, then we're going to put the new bracket on. Um, we'll be right back. If you look here, it says locate two factory holes on the driver's side inner fender well as shown. So we got two holes there. Um, I can see it from here. So we're going to put our terminals back on. Now we've got the new bracket sitting right here. We don't have it bumped all the way in yet, though, but I'm just going to go ahead and put this on and get this all together. All right, so 
they put this in. You <laughs> can put it on them. Uh, I'm just tightening everything up. This was kind of tedious, but uh, we've got it in now. And basically, just kind of hook this back on. I'll tell you what, though, it's a clean, clean spot to relocate it to. All right. Quick. So that's what it's gonna look like. That's clean. I was say, send that off to Chevy. <laughs> yeah, right? Thank you. Yeah, that's actually clean. It goes very well with everything. I think we're gonna jack the car up, um, take the front wheels off, <coughs> and uh, start getting on, pulling this front bumper off, the fun part. Hey guys, you see what he's doing right here? And we got Ziploc bags. We're gonna label them all for all parts and stuff like that. This is one of the most important things you can do on any build, any modification you can do when you've got a lot of parts to deal with. Ziploc bags, and sharpen. So we use a socket, of course, for extension. If it's too hard to get off, use a jack handle, breaker bar. We've got the front end of the car up. Um, wheels are off. My assistant, so I think I'm the assistant here. <laughs> the guy's working on my car. Pretty much went ahead and pulled the clips off the top of the bumper cover. Um, so at this point, they're down there pulling off the ghetto rig splitter that I put on. Now, shout out Next Customs. I'm not saying the splitter's ghetto. The way I installed it is just kind of ghetto. Actually, I don't even think so. It's installed right. It's just not bad. You just gotta pull it. It's just unfortunately what we have to do. <laughs> we just gotta pull it off to be able to get to the rest of the bolts on the bumper to pull the covers. So um, we're gonna do that now. They're down there doing their thing while I'm I, I'm 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 drinking a Lieutenant Dang. Uh, <laughs> and Jeremy has done a uh, I took off the what intake. Did what did he do? Yeah, he took off the intake and um, well, to rephrase that, he got beers. Yeah, it, he did get beers. <laughs> but we'll be right back, guys. I have grease on my face and I haven't done anything. I'm just trying to look like a hard worker. But Break the from taking the wheels. Gary and Josh back here. I was gonna say helping me pull the bumper, but um, they're basically pulling the bumper off for me. So definitely, uh, definitely appreciate these guys, but. We're pulling off the Nix Custom Splitter right now that I kind of made it a hassle for these guys to pull off. But you installed it's all custom. It's sturdy. <laughs> it's sturdy. It's sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. But, you know, I hated installing that, and I'm going to have to do it again. Oh, God, did you hear my knee? We'll put that on last, though. But there they go. Appreciate you guys. You guys need, like, a beer or anything? Wait. I didn't yeah. <laughs> Wait. Apple juice. Apple juice. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. You guys yeah. need some apple juice? Yeah. Oh, I gotta find the Sharpie. Like JJ mentioned earlier, we're labeling all of these so we don't forget anything. But uh, they're gonna do their thing down there. And um, hopefully get this bumper off soon. So we will be right back. <laughs> Woo! Here, actually, oh my god. Can we, uh, can we put that inside? Yeah, I was say. I kept mine on the blanket. <laughs> Mine's already scratched. Woo -wee. Look at that, you guys. Yeah, yours doesn't matter. Yeah, mine doesn't matter at all. That's right. the nose. What's that chick from Vine? Look at all those chickens. Fucking <laughs> 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 like birds or something. Look at all those birds. chicken chickens. Yeah. We have the front bumper off. They have the front bumper off. <laughs> so next thing we're gonna do is pull the headlights off, which I don't think that's gonna be too hard. Two bolts here. Just two bolts. That should be a breeze. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the headlights off. Um, after that, we're gonna move the uh, bumper support here. And what are we doing after that? Oh, radiator and fans. So that'll Seven be fun. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do that, and we'll be right back. Got fired. Got fired. So man, twist, twist, just like watching, man. It's just you right <laughs> that one. Just so plug. That one's just a plug. Really appreciate it. This is where we're at right now. And this isn't going to be long. There it is. Kind of touching base with you guys. Um, so I put that on. Sure. <laughs> okay. There's one more on the top. Yeah. There we go. I'm feeling pretty bad right now. I'm using chrome sockets on an impact. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, they're draining the, uh, the coolant right now out of the radiator. And then we're going to go ahead and pull the fans off, pull the radiator. I keep saying weird. They're going to pull the fans off, pull the radiator. I had all intentions of doing this, but these guys are being super freaking awesome and they're moving along really quick. So just kind of letting them do their thing. So appreciate it, you guys. 
Appreciate it, JJ. Bernard Philman. Shout out, Bernard. Pope Drago. Okay. Best <laughs> six chance, even though they're ugly at the end. Do you like the new six chance? Actually, no, I, like, I like. Yeah. I, well, we like older, older cars. Yeah. That's just. That's how we're gonna go. Get ready for the flood. Like, I don't know how much it's gonna be in this it's upper house. Oh, There's like ten of them four at the same time. I'm like, yeah. 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 And that's one of the reasons why I decided to do that. You don't see that's very surprising. Like, yeah, that's yeah. nice, right? <laughs> All right, guys. So Josh and Gary pulling the radiator out now. I cannot say how big of a help they have been, honestly. Dun dun. There she blows. Dun dun dun. You good, but you seem I pretty well. nervous. Wait, oh, I'm good. Up, I'm good. I mean, just think about it. At least you have compression. <laughs> yeah, there's that. <laughs> Next thing. Oh god. Oh god. Pulling off the crank pulley. Yeah. This will be fun. All right. We'll see you guys in a minute. Holly's going to get us pizzas, three large pizzas. Shout out oh, Michelangelo. Yeah. So. Yes. Okay, love you. love you. It's going to be good. Good pizza. Yeah. Oh, We're all in good spirits right now. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my. That's tight. It's the German. Yeah, you want me to pull it from over here? The German torque spec. Hang on, you hold it. Good and tight. Good and tight. Good and tight. You record while I help him with this. Here, you pull it. Wait, hold easier on. on your side. Hold it, hold it. Oh, wait. Oh, you're good. It's pulling, it's turning the crank. Something you gotta hold it. Mm. You have air? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Alright, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, second attempt. Crank bolt. Let's see. Ain't, ain't budging. So what we did, we put a piece of wood here because we couldn't get it with air. We couldn't get it by hand with a breaker bar. So put a piece of wood here, um, leveraged it up between this little bolt, which you guys can't see, but there's a bolt here. We got ourselves some leverage and ended up breaking it free. So now we're just going to, I'm going to pull this block out since we don't need it. I'm trying to start my belt. But so now um, he's just going to hit it with some air and that'll be it. Should pop right off. And here she goes. Hallelujah. There she goes. You guys want to take a pizza break? Sounds good to me. Pizza break. All right, we're going to pull the balancer off, and then we're going to take a pizza break. So that's our next step, pulling the balancer. We're in good hands. We've got Gary here. So Gary's got this tool right here. It's a, a puller right here. Mm -hmm. We're going to pull this pulley off right here. He's already got it set up right there behind the hooks, behind, there, uh, behind the uh, pulley there. The bolt right here, of course, just pushes through the center here to pull it off. <laughs> and that's what we got going on. We just put a ratchet on this right here, the pull against this right here to pull it out the center. All right, guys, camera battery is dying. We're going to end it here, and we will see you guys on the next video. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> you guys have to wait till the next one. Uh, we'll see you next time.